Hello everyone. In the in this video series, I am going to go over the mathematics. Now this is just going to be a preview. I'm just going to go over the mathematics. The mathematics that will help you in your study of transport phenomena. 1. Transport phenomena 1. And to be a bit more precise, when I when I talk about transport phenomena 1, I'm talking about microscopic I'm talking about microscopic transport phenomena all right and uh, when you'll be studying this subject you will be seeing a lot of terminologies like gradient of temperature okay gradient of pressure okay the divergence of the heat flux the Laplacian of the concentration of species A in order to fully understand and appreciate this subject, you need to know what all this notation means. This is a very math heavy subject. And people who have a weak, who have a strong foundation in the mathematics required are actually gonna do really well in this class. And people who people who are who think that they're not gonna do well in this class, well there's definitely potential if we can if we can revise some of the mathematics if we can revise some of the mathematics to study this subject the two main math the two main subjects from mathematics that you need multivariable calc that's gonna be the first one multivariable calc okay and the other one is gonna be ordinary differential equations ordinary differential equations okay there will be um for an undergraduate level course you will not be expected to solve partial differential equations so an understanding of ordinary differential equations will suffice that should be adequate moving on in multivariable calculus in multivariable calc we need to know the difference between vectors versus scalars and this is actually for those of you who have taken physics this should be this should come off this should come right off the bat you know that you're gonna in this subject in transport phenomena you'll be dealing with vectors like velocity velocity of the fluid you'll be dealing with momentum of the fluid and all the fluxes all the flux expressions are actually vectors on the on the other hand temperature is a scalar temperature concentration concentration and pressure these are all scalars so the operations that apply to vectors and the operations that apply to scalars addition subtraction multiplication you need to have a good understanding of those now next up we have the uh, operations the list of operations that one encounters in a multivariable calculus course and those op operations include gradient i think gradient is the first one i'm skipping part uh, i'm assuming that you guys understand what partial derivatives are okay i'm assume now gradient is the first operator usually represented as del then we have divergence okay divergence we're going to talk about each of these operations in the upcoming videos del dot okay del dot there is laplacian which is going to be del squared there's going to be curl which is going to be del cross okay gradient divergence laplacian and curl we we shall go over these video but we shall go over these in separate videos okay and in order to fully understand the subject a good visual feel a good visual understanding of each of these terminologies is really going to help lastly in multivariable calc i'm just going to slap in tensors tensor mathematics okay now tensors will only be used to describe momentum transfer momentum transfer okay and a good understanding of tensor mathematics is very helpful to understanding momentum transfer it's not 
at an undergraduate level it's not necessary it's helpful but not necessary okay all right moving on let's see um, under differential equations we're gonna be dealing with a lot of let me just draw this barrier okay good we're gonna be dealing with a lot of separable separable ODEs separable ordinary differential equations and for those of you who don't remember they look something like this f of y times dy equals f of x sorry g of x let me just rewrite that so any differential equation that can be written in this form is a separable ODE okay we're gonna be dealing with a lot of these and next up we have now uh, follow me as I write this linear um, it's gonna be damn okay I'm just gonna write it first all right I'm gonna write the type of differential equation a times dy dx squared plus b times dy dx plus y equals zero all right now this differential equation that I've written here it's second order all right the highest derivative term the highest derivative term is a second derivative it is linear okay all the co coefficients are constant oh there was a c here my bad plus c y all right all the coefficients are constant constant coefficients and uh, the right hand side is equal to zero so it's homogeneous the right hand side is equal to zero and uh, this is the um, this is the probably the ceiling of the complexity that you will encounter in the problems that you will be solving in transport phenomena so if you can solve if you know the general solution to this equation this differential equation then you're you're good to go you should not encounter a lot of problems okay and yeah in the upcoming videos we shall go through the vector operations the operations from multivariable calc we're going to talk a little bit about the tensor mathematics and we're going to go over separable odes and this second order linear constant coefficient homogeneous differential equation all right thank you very much and uh, i hope this video series proves helpful for you guys okay